What's up, boy? You beautiful, gorgeous, sexy people out there. Welcome back. Get my stretch on. Uh, feels good. Feels right. Feels natural. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back to the Utah Jazz franchise in NBA 2K14. Let's do a little quick little recap. There's actually a lot of stuff going on in the NBA that I want to talk about today. First off, let's recap. Last week, we got the W. Trey Burke went off to pull through for us. We got the W to put us at like 22 and 23 on the season. Somewhere in there, we're about 500 heading into this game. And the trade deadline's coming up. It's fastly approaching. There's like maybe four games left maybe eight games left until the trade deadline until the all-star break and all that stuff so there will be trades let's talk guys let's talk about the nba so far lebron opted out his contract Melo opted out his contract now of course that doesn't mean that they're gonna leave their teams that doesn't mean they're gonna leave miami get blocked the rosen get blocked favorite's gonna come up with the block get out of here son but that doesn't mean they're going to leave their respective teams. That doesn't mean they're going to leave the Heat or the Knicks or anything like that. It's just some major news. It's, sh it's shaking up the NBA completely. There's been a lot of trades, a lot of stuff going on recently. I know a follow from the Magic was traded today to Denver and all that stuff. And, of course, the draft's going on tonight. So there's a lot of NBA stuff that you have to keep up with, you know, pay attention to and all that stuff. Why don't you guys tell me what you think is going to happen with LeBron and all that? If he stays in Miami or where he leaves, maybe some super team stuff is going to happen. Carmelo and LeBron could be going to the same team i know the lakers were talking about that having kobe carmelo and lebron on the same team that definitely won't work out i'm just saying that's too much ego in one area <laughs> anyways guys let's get into this game let's talk about the jazz enough of that real life nba stuff nobody cares about that i'm just kidding <laughs> it's some interesting stuff going on and of course the usa soccer team won today usa baby usa we got the w <laughs> Well, actually, no, we didn't get the W. We lost, but we still got into the round of 16. So that's some major news. That's some real-life news that's been happening. This has been an awesome sports day this Thursday. So let's get into this game. Let's actually talk about the Jazz now as that dude hits that little floater. So we're going into this game. I'm going into this game against Toronto. I actually beat them earlier in the season. We got the W against them earlier. So there's a quick turnover here, and Thomas is going to come up with the slam. He's going to dunk them cookies. He's going to slam it down. He's going to drill it into the basket so guys you see that put us up like 14 to 12 it's 14 to 14 the beginning of this game was a slugfest you know toronto's an active active young athletic team and if we don't keep up with them if we don't maybe we want to keep it a little bit of half court possession we don't want to get in a run and gun game with them because that's not our game i want it to be our game but that's not our style of play right now our style of plays half court passes down low hit some three pointers here and there but mainly we don't want to get in that tr transition sort of game as i nailed the three with brandon rush 24 to 17 to in the first quarter so we're up by seven i'm feeling pretty comfortable pretty confident we got that three pointer Heading into the second quarter, there's some things we have to do. I know DeRozan at this point was going off. As they nail another three, they hit the triple. That whitey, that pasty white dude, he nails the triple. And so now I'm driving down the court with Clark. I randomly passed it back. I didn't mean to pass it to the corner. I didn't mean to pass it to, I believe that was Clark in the corner or that was Gordon in the corner. As Velasquez, I think his name is, he comes up with that little layup over Roy Hibbert. And I was thinking right there, like, come on, Roy. You got to block that. You can't let that, like, white dude, you can't let that Hispanic dude just nail you. And I hit the fade away, fade away with Derek Favors. He has, he, I've added that little fade away element of game into his style of play. And that fade away, if we can incorporate Derek Favors, if he can be a 20 and 10 dude, as I get dunked on, he just won that windmill. He had that windmill flowing and he nailed it. He nailed that dunk. He dunked them cookies and wheel and windmill fashion all over me. So guys, as I was saying, if we can incorporate Derek Favors or Roy Hibbert to get a 20 and 10 sort of game as I get dunked on again, Patterson, I think his name is, slams it down on me over Roy Hibbert. Come on, Roy. You got to block that. You got to deny him. Deny him. Don't let him have any cookies. Don't let him in our house. So, you see, during this whole game, this would happen. Like, they'd run plays or I'd run plays because I have my plays on automatic. I'd run plays and they just randomly wouldn't work. My dude would just fall down or something like that. But luckily, Trey Burke comes up with that nice little layup to finish it off. And then Tyler Hansborough comes up with his little hook shot lay up i hate tyler hands bro i hate you go back to north carolina hate you so they nail that three-pointer that puts them up 42 to 41 with less than a minute in the second quarter and now i'm trying to drive with thomas trying to post up get that low post game going drive it back that big old booty up 
<laughs> fade away. Doesn't work. So Kenner's gonna come up with the baby hook and get some nice two pointer. Nice two pointer for us. I get the block shot with Garrett. I'm driving down the court. Nobody else is running. I got the slow white guy on my tail on my team, and he didn't do anything for me. So now I just toss up the three. I thought I had enough space. Didn't work out for me. And they're gonna drive down the court with Ross. Ross had some monster dunks on me. And DeRozan had some monster ducks on me, but they come back and nail the three that I missed. So there's like a six-point swing maybe that happens. No, a three-point swing. And I come back and I put us up going into the second quarter or going into the second half, I mean. I put us up by one, and I'm, I'm pretty confident. You know, our team's doing pretty well. We're hitting some three-pointers. A lot of three-pointers were actually, we're hitting some three-pointers, but a lot of time like this right here, Burks, you should know that, Burks. What's going on, dude? He missed so many of those shots, and that's a crucial part of our game. We have to be able to space the floor out, hit those three-pointers to where we can open up the space down low for our big men, for our big fatties, for our big dudes that like to eat cake and like to eat lasagna and all that stuff, and we don't like Italian food like so Suarez or anything like that. We want that Chinese food, you know what I'm saying? Get some cake up in here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's 48, 46. Salmons is back and down favors, and I think I'm, you know, Tyler Hansborough, come on, Roy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Roy? Where, where were you? You let that white guy blow by you, Roy, come on. And then Burks is going to slam down the cookies. He's going to slam it down. It's like a tomahawk jam right here. Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. Get that. Yeah. So, 58, or 50 to 48. Trey Burks driving around, and then Burks comes up with a three, and he misses again. It happens so many times, and ultimately, that could be the difference in this game. How many times are you going to miss open three-pointers that are excellent shooting, excellent um, release, and all that stuff? Excellent shot selection, and you still miss it. Come on, Burks. You're failing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. You can't keep doing that. And they hit DeRozan for the open shot. So now they're up by two again. I come back with Trey Burke. He drives down, open floor, easy bus easy basket. And then he hits DeRozan in the corner for I think a two-pointer, a nice two-pointer. I th they were open the whole time. One of the things I don't like about 2K14 is that spacing the AI have. When I'm I'm driving, I'm a dude. He just got ran over. He just got drilled. DeRozan just leveled me to the floor. He just DeRozan has some monster dunks. It just makes me like want him on my team. If you can dunk like that, if you can do spin moves and all that stuff and dunk it as Ross gets a dunk on me, they're just dunking all over my team. They're still athletic. I can't keep up with them. I'm having poor defense as I've had all season. But guys. As I was saying, or as I want to say, we're uh, close to the midway point of the season, which means as I go into the fourth quarter, get your fours up. I go into the fourth quarter down by nine now. You see, it was a close game earlier. Now we're down by so much. Burks is in, Burks is in the corner, and he finally hits a three. Thank you, Lord, for giving me that three. So we're down by nine. They had a, they pulled away from us. They're too athletic. We couldn't keep up. They pulled away. Now I'm just trying to drive, trying to salvage anything I can. Favors is going to hit the nice jump shot to narrow the gap down to seven. Yeah, down to seven. And I was thinking, you know, we're close to the midway section. The next episode, I believe, since I'm not really going to do an all-star, none of our team is in the all-star. We've had more collective more collective wins. Our teammates are in our team in general has different leading scorers every single game. One day it'll be Trey Burke as they hit the alley. Oop, 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 oop. But as I was saying, you know, some one game will be Trey Burke that's leading. The next game will be Roy Hibbert and all that stuff. So we haven't really had an all-star performance out of anyone, unfortunately, which means the all-star game probably won't be played just because we don't have anyone in it. Maybe the Rising Star Challenge will be put up, and I'll make post some gameplay of that, unless it's, like, kind of boring, unless you guys don't want to see that. Just let me know. Anyways, we're close to the midway section, which means that the next episode is going to be trade talk. The next episode is going to be all trade talk. It's going to be roster. It's going to be showing out our GM attributes and all that stuff. I thought I was going to hit Gordon, but unfortunately I didn't, and I threw the ball away. Trey Burke had seven turnovers during this game. We're down by nine, guys. We're down by nine, and then Burke comes up with a clutch three-pointer to put us down by six. DeRozan's driving. DeRozan's driving. I have great defense on him. What are you doing, Burke? What are you doing? Why are you fouling him? We don't need you to foul him. I had great defense on him. You didn't even need to come over, dude. So... That's a horrible foul. And DeRozan heads the ball. He was going off on us. He was going off all over the place. And then they get fouled as Roy Hibbert 
volleyballs that thing, spikes that thing out of here. So we're down by six, though, on that unnecessary foul. I come up, I'm going to get it to Favors. He's going to bang that big old booty, and we're going to get the and one. Good job, Favors. Good job. Get that and one. Score. Get that and one. Let's see if we can get the three-point play, and we do. Thank you, Favors. Good job. Good job, Favors. So we're now we're only down by four, and we're moving. Burks is open for three, and he misses again. Come on, Burks. You screwed me over, dude. So I'm going to give the ball back to Burks. He's on a cold streak. You can see his whole body's cold, and he's not going to hit the three. So I come back. I hit Gordon, and he's going to nail the three. It's too late now. We're down 97 to 92, but hold on. We can, we can come back as Roy Hibbert hits the nice two-pointer to put us to give us a chance. And then I'm going to pass it to Burks. Come on, Burks. And no. So anyways, guys, we end up losing the game because, you know, 2K14 did me up the butt. But anyways, 194. Stay frosty. I love you.